Oh my God, the humidity is 100% and it ain't raining. I'm gonna call this one Loghain, Anders, and Solus, the making of a villain. Now, if you've been around here for any length of time, you're gonna understand that I've already spoken at length about this, uh, but never in a three minute video have I discussed all three people, so let's do it. Heads up, what I'm gonna say may be uh, uncomfortable or make people upset. I'm gonna apologize up front. Hear me out to the end. Loghain is the bad guy, but not because he let Merrick die. All of the empirical information we can actually get from people who were at Ostagar or uh, knew other people who were at Ostagar or saw what happened but weren't in the army, they all say by the time the fire lit, the Terran couldn't take the field without losing everybody. It's a tactical decision. He's a master strategist. I buy that. Loghain is the villain because he pinned the death of the king on the Grey Wardens and then went to extreme lengths to see them killed so they never get to contradict him. Regardless of how you feel about Anders, Anders is a villain because he willingly allows his heart to make decisions that his head knows he shouldn't make. Counter argument to this is if you are led by your heart, does your head have some room? And the answer is if your head doesn't have any room, you don't have any business messing with explosives. It had been this long and Anders didn't see the positive change he wanted and he was already out of patience because a lot of mages were out of time and he felt like the proper answer to that was to face the Chantry with something they absolutely had to address right now and let the mages fight it out. Anders lived his life robbed of his ability to make decisions for himself and his answer to that was to take the lives from people who had absolutely no say and then leave the ones still alive fighting for their lives. And, he, and let's remember he did this in hopes that it would send a bigger message to the other circles. Solus, I don't want to ruin it for any of you who haven't played so I'm, I'm going to try to keep this general. Solus is a villain because of inaction, which is a theme for Inquisition, if you follow along with the story. But Solus is almost the worst kind of villain because his attempt to correct mistakes is simply wiping the slate clean and then rewriting the book with the only characters he thinks really deserve to be in the story. If you have to rob people of their agency to make a decision for people, you are not the good guy.